When you think ground classes, you think pilot preparation. Hello, pilots and future pilots. You are watching Pilot Preparation, and today we'll be talking about the differences between jet engine and piston engine. I hope you have already covered what is jet engine and piston engine, so that you will be able to, you know, relate whatever I will say. And first, let's go through what are the similarities between them. So both are engines. That is first similarity. Very logical, isn't it? And second is that they both propel a mass of air backward. That means their principle is same. Of course, because they both fly, their principle should also be same, isn't it? So how come the, like, yes, the principle is same, but how that principle is followed? Let's see that. So in the case of jet engine, the air goes inside and then it goes through the compression, then combustion, then exhaust via turbine. So this is the action. And what is the reaction? Reaction is the engine go, goes forward. As the hot air is going backward, the engine goes forward and with engine, the plane also goes forward. Now, what happens in the case of piston engine? If you see that in piston engine, again, induction of air fuel mixture happen, then compressor, compression, combustion, and then power and then exhaust stroke, all the things happen. This creates a linear motion. Now, this linear motion is not propelling a mass of air backward. What is this doing? This linear motion is converted to rotational motion via crankshaft. Now, this rotational motion also rotates the propeller. Once the propeller rotates, it propels the mass of air backward. As the mass of air is propelling backward, the plane will also move. The plane will move forward. So this is how the piston engine also follows follow the same rule or the same principle. So this is the similarity. But what are the differences? As you can see, the shape is totally different. So yes, there would be a lot of differences. So first is the first one follows Brayton cycle, whereas the second one follows auto cycle. Brayton and auto are the name of scientists. And the first, like the first Brayton cycle follows constant pressure cycle, whereas auto cycle follows constant volume cycle. Now, what is constant pressure cycle? If you want to understand this, we have to, you know, rub this part. Now, as the air passes through the compressor in this region, the air has a very high pressure. Now, this high pressure air, when it enters the combustion chamber, it maintains that high pressure throughout the combustion chamber. It does not have any drop of air pressure. Now, this is maintained inside this combustion chamber as there is no manipulation of the pressure. That is the reason it is called as constant pressure cycle. Now, you may say that, sir, there would be a little bit drop of pressure inside the combustion chamber. And I would say yes, but we have to ignore that part. We have to assume the ideal condition that in ideal condition, the combustion chamber will not drop a single pascal of pressure. Now let's talk about piston engine. In piston engine, we have constant volume cycle. So what happens the, as this piston moves up, as this piston moves up and it reaches the top dead center. For some microsecond, it attains a constant volume for some microsecond as, as it is going up and down, up and down. If I say stop. So for that particular microsecond, it is having a constant volume. This you can see yellow region is nothing but this constant volume. Now, as this air fuel mixture is attaining the constant volume, this charge is attaining the constant volume. At that time, what we will do, we will ignite that charge with the help of a spark. Now, this spark will spread the fire throughout in those particular microsecond at which the piston is standing at the top dead center. So for that particular time, the combustion is happening at constant volume. As the combustion is done completely, we get power in the air, like we get the power in the air fuel mixture and that uh, thrust the piston down. So that is not constant volume, but for this particular time, when combustion is happening, we say combustion happens at constant volume cycle or constant volume. That is the reason it is called as constant volume cycle. Understood? Now let's come to this third part that is piston engine is reciprocating engine. Clearly, piston engine goes up and down, up and down, up and down. So it is reciprocating, whereas there is no up and down movement in the jet engine. So it is not recipro non reciprocating engine. Also, it is called as smooth engine s m w o t s smooth engine why because there is no mechanical part which is constantly you know getting rubbed by another part in the case of 
this you can see this piston is continuously rubbed like there is piston rings we can understand that but piston rings are continuously rubbed by the casing and because of this at high rpm they will suffer a lot and that is the reason the performance decreases and the fuel consumption increases at high rpm in the case of piston engine whereas in jet engines are efficient at high rpm as there is no friction or very less friction now let's talk about the fourth point that is octane number what is octane number octane number is the tendency of a fuel to you know get pressurized we can say octane number defines a fuel's resistance towards ignition so we can say that if we compress a fuel it should not get burned by itself it should not have a early ignition phase so that is nothing but octane number so high octane number means you will not be you know your fuel will not be ignited at a like at a low pressure itself so it will be attaining the high pressure it will be able to attain the high pressure it will not burn before attaining the high pressure so if if we have like if we see this piston engine we want high octane number fuel that that is gasoline gasoline has octane number from 80 80 to 97 so we have you know a grade octane number which is 90 to 97 which is used inside a plane whereas in the case of a jet engine we don't want a high pressure you know high pressure fuel we can have any type of fuel so that is the reason we use kerosene which burns at low octane number that is 20 to 50 around 20 to 15 so this is the difference between the fuel that is like piston engine consumes high octane number fuel that is gasoline a grade gasoline and jet engine consume kerosene now let's talk about their problems the problems they suffer the piston engine suffered detonation detonation is nothing but abrupt explosion inside the cylinder because of some gases or some unburnt fuel because of the high temperature inside the cylinder due to some reason it can again make the air fuel mixture burn without even reaching the top dead center point that will make the piston engine undisciplined and because of that the performance will suffer a lot because there is a particular timing of everything what is deadly for a, a jet engine that is compressor stall so if there is a any imbalance between air flow supply and air flow demand there could be a chance of compressor stall now again the compressor stall can impact the overall performance of the jet engine and also compressor stall can happen due to the reason that there is you know any malfunction in the blade like the turbine blade or the compressor blade has got ruptured because of that also the compressor stall can happen and because of that the whole jet engine can suffer so the compressor stall and detonation are two reasons by which jet engine and piston engine suffers now let's come on the last part that is jet engine follows continuous cycle whereas piston engine follows intermittent cycle what is continuous cycle that means all the processes from air intake to compression to combustion to exhaust happens simultaneously that means air is continuously coming compression is continuously happening combustion is continuously happening and exhaust you know is working continuously throughout it cannot stop any of this process cannot stop whereas in the case of piston engine one things happen one thing happen at a time that means first intake will happen then compression will happen then power stroke will happen combustion will happen then power stroke will happen then exhaust will happen so this will happen one after the other you cannot skip any of this part otherwise there will be a, there will be a problem inside the piston engine so we can say that it is an intermediate cycle that means not all the process happens simultaneously whereas it is a continuous cycle because all the process happens simultaneously so this was all about the differences between jet engine and the piston engine so please like this video share with all your friends and do subscribe for many more videos to come